Hello. You all right? Um, I'm going to treat this a bit like a therapy session because I'm going to talk about a, a few experiences with my mom. The first one is I set her up on a dating app about a year ago and it was disturbing, to say the least. Within five minutes, she'd already been sent four dick pics. <laughs> one, one man asked if she liked anal. Another bloke asked if she was um, DTF, which my mum thought was uh, dinner then film. <laughs> and nearly responded with, I'm up for that. <laughs> We did get somewhere, finally. One guy took about five minutes, good conversation. It was looking good. I thought, this could be my new dad, you know? <laughs> Until he also decided that a dick pic was the way to go. <laughs> but there was something a bit different about this one. My mom smiled and nodded in approval at Mark 58 from Bristol's dick. <laughs> yeah, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. She's in the back. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll be happy to hear this because just before she blocked you, <laughs> just before she blocked you, she actually said, Oof, I wish she hadn't been so rude because I might have took my dentures out for that. <laughs> no. But I, lo I love my mum. She's great. Mark, in about five minutes, in the back, I'll get her. I'll get her there. Don't worry. <laughs> no, um, but no, I relate a lot more now to my mom growing up. When when I was younger, I kind of thought she was a bit of an insane bitch. I won't lie. <laughs> she used to do this thing that if I got home from school and I really pissed her off, she would just stand in the corner and go, <sighs> as if. <laughs> As if she was trying to hold the devil down, you know, she was like, fucking child. <laughs> but I thought, you know, I've got a bit of wiggle room here, it's okay, she's not quite lost it. It's always when she actually started talking to herself is when I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> be in the corner going, this fucking, oh, I'll kill her, I'll kill her. Why did I have kids? But we've all been there, we've all been there. There's, um, I saw this one experience when I was out shopping. This woman who, I'm sure you've all seen them, the ones that try to act like they've got their lives all together and they don't like to yell at their kids properly. They do that secret thing where they go, come here, come here. <laughs> and they go, you don't pocket in, fuck it, when we go home. And, they, and you're like, Susan, fucking hell, we all saw it. It's not, a sec it's not a secret as you thought it was, like, <laughs> you know. Oh, but I, I, <laughs> I've been there myself, to be fair. I took my niece on when she was five months old and I started out thinking I'm going to be this perfect parent. She'll only eat organic food. She'll be on a screen one hour at most a day. And then she reached that point where she had to show me every single performance. <laughs> Dance, gymnastics. There's only so many times you can watch a cartwheel that's like this. <laughs> and you have to go, that was amazing. You're doing so well. But I'm going to leave you with... One more thing that my mom used to say. She'd always go, I'm gonna go for a walk. I've had enough, I'm going for a walk. And she'd storm out. Now, the last time she went for a walk, so I mean, she's been gone about five years now, actually. <laughs> but she's all right, she's all right. She put a selfie up yesterday in a cafe in Bristol with some guy called Mark. <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised because she didn't come home and she left her teeth and everything. Thank you, guys.